Welcome everyone. In this lesson, we'll be setting up the layout of our dashboard. In the Mullen project template that we started from, we already have a dashboard set up that's going to take us a long way, but we do need to make a few changes to it. First, what we'll do is make this left panel our list of conversations, and then we'll make the right panel display the conversation that's been selected. So if we click on the left panel, we can see what elements are inside. We have this to-dos button, and we also have the profile button. We don't really need either of those, so I'm just going to delete them. Now let's insert a repeating list into that same spot. I'll name my repeating list conversations. And I'm going to go ahead and set the data to come from a collection list from the conversations collection that we created earlier. We'll pull in all fields. And for now, we'll leave the filters and the sorting alone. Now we need to make a page for the display page of our repeating list. We already have a similar page in the project that's used for list items, this task row here. What I'm going to do is make a new page just from a blank page. And then I'll copy the outer container and paste that into my new page body. I could use to paste or paste with children. In my case, I really just want the outer container. I don't want the whole thing. And notice that my page body has this black background on it. That's because in the page body styling, the page body class has been selected. If I remove that class, it will remove that styling, which is what we want because we want it to take the background color of the left panel and not have its own background color. And I'm also going to copy this name text box. So I'll right click on it, copy. We'll come back up to our new page and we'll paste it inside of the container. Now, because we copied this from the other page, it already has a data set up on it, but it's coming from tasks and the task data field. Let's change that to be from conversations from our name field. So now the name of the conversation will appear in that text box. I'm going to go ahead and move this row on our canvas over to the left just to organize it a little bit better. And I'll also drag the edge of the page to make it a bit smaller. And I'll name this page Conversation Row. All right, so now we have a page set up here. We go back over to our repeating list. And in the properties, we'll select it as the list display page. It's called Conversation Row. And now we can see on the left side, We'll have a list of our conversations. Now in the right panel of our dashboard, right now it's displaying a component. And that component is showing our app page task list, which is this page here. But we actually want to use a different page for our conversation. So I'm going to go back over to the left side and insert another new blank page. And we'll call it Conversation details. I'll do the same thing here to the page body. I'm going to remove the page body class. And then we'll change this component to come from our new page, Conversation details. Now let's add a few elements to our Conversation details page. We'll start with a heading. We'll insert a new element, search for heading, and drop an H1 in. This is going to be our name. So we'll want to bind it to data. Now remember, we're going to open a conversation. And so we'll pull in the name of that conversation into this heading. In the last part of this lesson, we'll make it so that when the user clicks on a conversation row, it opens that particular conversation into our component using the conversation details page. So it will push that specific conversation row information and open that conversation details page. From my outer container on my conversation row, I'm going to go to the events tab. And what we want is on click to run a new flow. 
and our new flow is going to open the conversation. The first action in our flow will be an open page action. This action will open a page of our selection into a container that we choose. In our case, we'll open our conversation details and we want our conversation details to open into the component that we have on our app homepage. So in our container to open argument, we'll select that page, app home, and we'll select the container to open into, which is our component. And importantly, for record context, we want to select the current record. Remember that what we're clicking on is a specific conversation row which is a record from the conversation data collection. So by selecting the record context of current record, that will pass all of that record's information into the conversation details page that's opened up, which will then provide that page all of the information it needs to display the details of that conversation. So now we need to create a couple of conversations. To get started, I'm gonna go into the conversations collection in the studio and we're just going to add a few records. So let's name the first conversation nutrition. And the second conversation home repair. And in the initial behavior fields for nutrition, let's have a behavior of you are a professional nutritionist. And for home repair, you are a professional home repair person. All right, so now we have two conversations and we have some initial behavior set into each. Now this initial behavior can be anything. And when we put our action in place to create the chats, this information will get used and passed along to OpenAI to set the tone for how we want GPT to respond in that particular conversation. So let's close this and go ahead and preview. We can open our homepage for now. Now the Mullen template has authentication built into it. So the first time you use this, you'll need to sign up for an account in the project you're building. All right, so now in our app, we have nutrition and we have home repair. If we select nutrition, you can see nutrition fills in on the right. If we select home repair, home repair fills in on the right. So let's go back and make one more change. If you notice, when the app first loads, it comes in with name, by default. And that's because in the studio, inside of the component, we have a default page selected. Instead, I'm just going to select no page by default. So that way it will default to empty and it won't load anything until the user selects one of the conversations. So now if we go back to our preview again and refresh, we now start with a blank dashboard. And when we select a conversation, it fills in on the right. So that's it for this lesson. We now have a working dashboard that fills in our conversations on the left, and we can select them and load them into the large panel on the right. In the next lesson, we'll add a chat box to the bottom of our conversation page and set up the action that sends the requests over to OpenAI for the chat to take place. Thanks for watching.